Setting up Logic Pro is very easy, but the first thing we need to take care of is we need to change the recall message from CC127 to 119. And this is because in Logic, CCs 127 to 120 are actually reserved for the system. So to do that, we just go into Composer Tools Prefs and scroll down to the bottom of the Connections tab and set it to 119. So everything we need to do in Logic happens in its MIDI environment. So to open the MIDI environment, you go to Window, Open MIDI Environment, or from the key command, Command-0. I'm just going to move these tracks out of the way here. So the first thing we need to do is to get MIDI from Logic out to Lemur. So to do that, I'm going to create a new MIDI instrument. And this is actually going to act as our output to Lemur. So I'm just going to rename this to Lemur. Now we need to tell the MIDI instrument how to connect to Composer Tools. And I'm connected via daemon output 0. And the next thing to do is just to make sure that it's set to send on all channels. So now we need to do the MIDI conversion. I'm going to create a new transformer object. And when I double click on it, you'll see that there are two halves to the transformer. In the top half, you can tell the transformer what message to listen to. And in the bottom half, you can tell it how to transform that message. So of course, we want to listen for controller 119. So status, that just means what type of message. We want to listen when the message equals a control change message. For channel, we do nothing. But for data byte 1, that's the controller number. And of course, we want to listen to controller 119. So when that equals 119. So just taking a look at my directory here, I see this preset needs program change 0 on channel 1. So the first thing we need to do is to change the message type into program change message. And remember, that's status. So we'll fix it to program change. For the channel, we'll fix it to the channel we need, channel 1. For data byte 1, we do nothing. But for data byte 2, that's the program number. So we'll fix this to program change 0. The next thing we want to do is to change the mode to apply operation and filter non-matching events. And basically all that does is it tells the transformer to let this message through, do the transformation, but then filter all the other events, because we only want the recall message to get back to Lemur. So we're done. Just cable up the track to the transformer and the transformer to Lemur. Close this up and give it a try. It works. So let's do another one. I'm going to go back into the MIDI environment by Window, Open MIDI Environment. Now we're just going to copy the transformer this time. Looking at Composer Tools, I see this next preset needs Channel 5, Program 20. So we only need to change now the program channel to 5 and the number to 20. And we're done. Just cable it up. Track to the transformer. And that's it. Let's give it a try. And it works. So you can just go through your project like this. I actually find it helpful to rename these transformers with what message that they're sending out. And that's all there is to setting up a recall in Logic Pro X.